from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, questions over why labour hire companies are continuing to bring in overseas construction workers when construction work is starting to dry up. Latest stats and dead data show resource consents in the year to March are down a quarter on the previous year. They're down almost a third on the year to May 2022. Union Network of Migrants coordinator Mikey Santos says despite the slowdown, labour hire companies keep recruiting overseas and don't promise livable incomes. Right now, migrant workers are struggling. Most of them arriving here with no jobs waiting for them and the remaining half they're making redundant. At least four people have been injured in a serious crash in central Hawke's Bay. State Highway 2 in Waipawa remains closed between the intersection of Tomumu Road and the intersection with Victoria Street. New Zealanders are being urged to help the the critically endangered Southern Dotteral. The New Zealand Nature Fund is hoping to raise $400,000 to support the Department of Conservation to protect the Southern Dotteral from predators. A population count by DOC showed there had been a 19% drop in the population in the last two years and only 101 birds remain. Chief Executive Sarah Little says such a significant decline was not expected. Hence why we are trying to get that campaign out and have more awareness of how critical this is and how quickly we need to act. The fight against the invasive seaweed Kaleopa brachypus continues in the North Island's Hauraki Gulf. Teams supported by Ngāti Manuhiri Trust and Biosecurity New Zealand hope to clear 18 hectares of the seaweed from the Gulf's Irish Shoal. Trust Chief Executive Nicola MacDonald says the three-week project should inform future dredging in other parts of the Gulf. She says time is of the essence when it comes to seaweed because it can suffocate marine life. it grows very, very quickly, grows extremely fast, and it's really difficult to remove and get rid of. That's news. In sport, the historic first ever Super Rugby game in Tonga has gone the way of the visitors as the Highlanders beat Moana Pacifica 28-17 in torrid wet conditions. The Highlanders led 19-17 at halftime in Nukualofa. The Crusaders are hosting the Queensland Reds in Christchurch, that game just underway. The Black Fern Sevens have made it three from three at the Singapore World Series, beating Canada 31-7. The All Black Sevens are in must-win mode in their final pool game. Shortly after seven tonight, they're playing arch-rivals Australia. The Los Angeles Clippers have bowed out in the first round of the NBA playoffs as the Dallas Mavericks closed out a 4-2 victory at home, winning game six, 114 to 104. One. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.